Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com That's my website. My name is Jason Newland. That's my name. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. That's the title of the podcast. I think it is number 283 I think and that squeaky sound in the background is not my hips it's the chair although my hips do squeak well, I don't know if they squeak but they feel like they squeak my lower back, my left part of my lower back definitely clicks at times. Not like, you know, the Adams Family tune. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Not like that. It's more, um. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Actually, it's not painful. Well, it is, but it's not. Not when it clicks. It's more like that. I don't know if you heard that. That was my toe. <sighs> oh. Only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes because. And yeah, might cause tiredness. I suppose it's kind of the point, though, isn't it? Really, tired, tiredness. I feel like I want to give you all the stats again. But that's there's limits of boredom, isn't there? Like, oh, I feel I can only really get away with talking about the stats maybe once a month. But too much more than that, and I think it would be too boring. You know, there is a limit. Although. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I'm just gonna lay down a little bit. I'm not laying down, but I'm stretching out on my big black squeaky chair. And oh, stretching my back. You know, it's really weird. I had got a bit of problems with my lower back. I went to the doctor. Well, I've I've spoken to a couple of doctors about it, uh, and a nurse, and they usually tell me, you know, you need to make an appointment. And they always, they always seem to say the same thing, like, well, you need to lose some weight. But I had this problem. I got a bit of problem in my upper back as well. <laughs> oh, oh. But I've had that for years and years. Uh, my lower back issue I've had for twenty odd years, and it's and I used to be really slim, so. I think the idea that I've got lower back pain because I've got a beer belly, even though I don't drink beer, but you know, middle age spread or whatever you want to call it, doesn't make sense to me because I had the same issue when I was slim. It's 
it's just gradually got worse and with age uh, I saw a shropodist about it and he said that it was basically down to wear and tear like not not <laughs> tear necessarily but wear you know being at uh, now that I'm over 30 stone I and I, it's just one of those things you know I used to be very active physically um, I used to, during my 20s uh, just you know, a couple of years back I had a lot of physical jobs where I was lifting heavy boxes and you know stuff like that just heavy items and but in my 30s I had quite sedentary jobs like in offices I had a couple of jobs where I was physically active when I worked in retail, you know, go walking up and down the stairs, carrying stuff, unloading lorries and things like that. So it was fairly active, standing on me on my feet, which I find is a, the best way to stand up. And also over the years, done quite a lot of. Yeah, you know, different martial arts and <laughs> so boxing and you know, so it's like quite um going to the gym and you know, stuff like that. So I've been quite physically active and a lot of the martial arts has been in my thirties. Cause I did it when I was a kid. I kinda of had quite a big break and then I started and in my thirties, I did Wing Chun Kung Fu. I did that for about a year. I also did boxing as well. Did that for about a year or so. And when I was I think I was about 41 I started doing um, Taekwondo I did that for a couple of years so and there's a lot of movement a lot of kicking and all that stuff but I, used to, I definitely lost weight when I was doing the boxing that's the most intensive workout I've ever done it's it's really weird because like in a, a normal situation like when I was younger I could see a punch bag and I could just punch it continuously and you know just go crazy on a punch bag but with the boxing training after all the circuit training and the skipping the push ups the uh, shadow boxing and all that stuff then I'd finally get onto the punch bag and I was knackered and I didn't have that the energy that I would normally have to well I just I was punching but I felt like I wasn't punching at all it was kind of weird and then at the end it was the because I think each each exercise lasted for about five minutes with about a minute break or was it three minutes with a minute break? I don't know. Try to sort of, I think they do it to match the ring, you know, when you're in a ring for three minutes. And then you have a, a minute break um, between rounds. And I think the last 30 seconds of the three minutes on a punch bag, they tell you to go all out. And you know, it's almost, I don't know, everybody's a fan of boxing, but it's the bit where you, you catch them and then you just go all out to knock the person out to finish the job. And it's that. And it looks easy in the boxing ring. 
almost looks easy on a punch bag until you're completely naked beforehand so I've got a lot of respect for well any athlete really but boxes because that's one of the things I like and to be able to do that it's like wow and taekwondo that was I lost weight doing that as well I wanted to do Wing Chun and lost weight but because of my lower back I had to stop doing the Wing Chun not Wing Chun um, the Taekwondo I literally was I was there I remember the evening I was there and I had to lay down on the floor I couldn't do anything else and I had to go I had to leave and I've never ever walked out of any um, physical training thing in my life right from the age of what 13, 14 when I first started doing it and the first time doing karate but I just couldn't do it and I couldn't physically my body, my, my back wouldn't 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 do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I felt like my back kind of divorced me. You know, who was seeing someone else. My lower back was cheating on me. So when I went to the dentist and the dentist did the... like clicked my back, did this clicking thing and said that I needed to... Uh, go you know every week or whatever and I, he was going to charge me I think it was something like 45 pound for 15 minutes 45 pound for 15 minutes and uh, I had a few sessions because I was just thinking, oh, please, I've got to do something to, to help my back. And I had enough money to pay for it. Because it was just before I moved into this flat. And the reason I know that is because the... Um, I don't know what his name was. The osteopath, whatever. He told me to put some he told me to rub my back against some balls and I misunderstood him and he said no I don't mean that and can you move away from me he said get some tennis balls put them inside a stocking or a uh, you know, a sack, you're some kind of, and I thought, what, sock? He said, yeah, well, I said sack, but sock, similar, yeah, it's spelt quite the same, isn't it, just a, an O instead of an A, I said, what are you talking about? He said, I don't know, um, he said, put it, some tennis balls into a, a sock, and when you're sitting down put them underneath you so they kind of push against the lower back to massage the lower back so I did that for about a year because I brought the bag um, the sock with I think I had three tennis balls inside the sock and and I tied a hole in the sock to keep the tennis balls in because I didn't want them to fall out and that was a that was a boring sentence and I feel I'm going to put together oh I'm so tired <laughs> sit up otherwise I'm going to fall asleep
I'm, I get tired when I make recordings, but when I get really tired, it just makes making the recordings a little bit more difficult because. I find myself drifting off a little bit and so I kind of sit here with me eyes closed and I'll just talk but the thing is even though I'm talking my mind starts to drift and when I become a bit, a bit more aware that I've been drifting I'm not sure what I was talking about. So, I kind of have to put a fair bit of trust in myself to. be mildly sensible ish you know to sleep right now oh, fast asleep oh, I got Andre he's cuddling me now He's actually fast asleep. He does this sometimes. If I if I pick him up when he's just like just ran out from wherever he is, let's say he's jumped off the bed or he's he's got some uh old tracksuit bottoms of mine that he sleeps in because he likes sleeping in the the leg you know of the the trousers or whatever they're called and he'll crawl out and he'll run over to the paper and he'll do a wee well sometimes he just crawls out and has, has a scratch and then he gets back and goes back to sleep so if I catch him at that point and I just hold him he goes back to sleep like instantly and if I just stroke his top of his head like I'm doing now he's very happy as long as I do it slowly I can stroke his body and cuddle him and he's fine as long as he he's not disturbed because he's asleep
and he likes being stroked. I'm now stroking his side near, basically over his ribs to his belly and he likes that. He likes being touched. But if he was to wake up So he's now, yeah, he's gone again. He's gone back to sleep, but he's, yeah. oh, sniffy, sniffy, snuff, snuff, sniffy, sniffy. So my lower back needs some kind of something. And then the top of my back was kind of more shoulder blade kind of area, like upper back kind of area. I've had a like a pain that I've had for years and years and years going back to probably about uh, 95 probably and uh, Andre sorry about that it's Andre can't believe he does stuff like that. Oh dear. How embarrassing. He shook the whole room. I thought it was a volcano or something, honestly. Just. Poor. Oh, have you been eating cat food? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, yes. Anyway, I, I had this. I used to work for an agency and had this job. Put in furniture. bedroom furniture into student accommodation and I think it was nurses accommodation for student nurses that's what I think it was because it was just up the road from a hospital And it was a new building. And all of the the bedrooms, they were, you know, basically identical. And all the furniture was identical. And we, our job, the people that were kind of working, I think it was a two day job maybe three days I don't know but our job was to carry the furniture and move it into the each room and there was a lot of rooms and I think each room had there was a wardrobe probably a set of drawers there was a bed and there was a desk I think that was it that was what each room needed to have you know each one so and it was snowing not, not in the rooms but outside 
the weather was snowy. So I get there. I think I'm late because it's really out of the way from where I was living. So I didn't really know where I was going, which uh, I'm going to lay down. Just spreading myself out. Hopefully you can still hear me. Oh. I'm so tired. And. The heaviest things to carry was the desks. Because wardrobes, they weren't like really heavy. And also wardrobes are empty, aren't they? They're kind of, it might be, you know, six foot tall and, I don't know, three foot wide. That's, it's three foot times six foot of air you know, it's nothing <laughs> it's just empty space with wood surrounding it so they weren't particularly heavy they were just it was a two man job or a two person job to you know because of the awkwardness of them but the desks were heavy and I didn't realise this to be a fact until I went to lift one up and I heard a rip in my back like a a tear or something and it was very painful so basically I hadn't warmed up and I just started lifting in the cold this was I'm trying to think 1995 probably maybe January time perhaps yeah probably yeah most possibly And I couldn't go home because I needed the day's work, I needed the money. So I, I mean, the the person there in charge said, you might need to go to the hospital or something. I said, no, I'm fine, I'll be okay. And he said, well, if you can't do the job, you're gonna, we'll let you go because you don't, we, we need people that are capable of doing the work because there's a deadline and it has to all be done by a certain time I said I understand what deadline means he said okay I realise that you're in pain so I'll I'll give that one let you have that one but please in future show a bit more respect I said respect you don't know what the word means he said yeah I do I said fair enough and I carried on ever since then I've had this like left it's on the left side as well left kind of shoulder blade underneath the shoulder blade kind of I don't know what it is 
the only way I can kind of I need to stretch it so sometimes what I do is I'll push myself against um, like a door frame or something to massage the area and that seems to have done the job really what was I talking about Oh yeah, I remember when I was doing security, I used to um, lean with my back against, if I could find a knob, I'd like to rub it, rub it against it, like a door knob or a door handle or just anything sticking out, anything that I could push my up, upper back against to massage it because it felt I felt a degree of relief from that but the lower back that seems to have the first time I remember having any issues with my lower back was 27 minutes past 2 in the morning Sunday the 22nd of December all day during Saturday for some reason don't ask me why for some reason I felt like it was later I don't mean like Wednesday or Thursday not like later in the week it just, seem, just seems later in the day and that might be partly because of it being dark outside by 4 o'clock in the afternoon but it really even I think at 5 o'clock it felt like it was more like 9 o'clock or 10 in my mind It's almost like my internal clock has gone a bit haywire. I wonder where that came from. Haywire. Like hay is what you feed camels and wire is what dentists use to catch fish or something I don't know who knows who knows someone knows somewhere don't know who I don't know who who. can't believe what is it 22nd today So tomorrow be Monday, 
23rd, Sunday 24th, no, Tuesday 24th, can't remember for most people, time goes forward, so Sunday 22nd today, Monday 23rd, Tuesday Christmas Eve 24th, and Wednesday Christmas Day. The 25th. I can't even remember last year. I don't mean the whole year, but Christmas. I don't really recall much about it. Probably just the same as any other Christmas I suppose I don't don't recall I was here with Andre I don't recall doing anything spandaculous I'm just looking at my book collection I've got quite a few books on therapy Shall I read them to you? Shall I tell you? Oh, it's going to get up. And it's walk, walking on paper. I can't believe my, my big black squeaky chair squeaks even when I'm not sitting in it. I wonder how many books I've got all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So nineteen for the first shelf. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, um, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 
127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, 158, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, 232, 233, 234. I think that's all of them. So that's 234 books. Um, there's actually more than I realise. It's not, it's not like a tiny amount, is it? It's a lot smaller than I used to have. I used to have a lot, much bigger collection. But 234. So out of that, the therapy books... This would include counselling, psychotherapy, various different forms of therapy, including, I suppose, NLP as well, but excluding hypnosis. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So we've got 38 therapy books. 
and that I would probably class just as psychotherapy slash counselling. And in the NLP books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And the hypnosis books, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Let's kind of move off of there. So 64 books on that specifically hypnosis. I've also got some novels as well. And other ones that would kind of fit into Buddhism and I suppose spirituality and stuff. Um, the other ones that I like would be classed as self-help like chicken soup for the soul um, men, are my, men are from Mars and women are perfect that one there's the um, Sophie's World by Justine Gardner brilliant book it's really good for the history of philosophy I love philosophy but I don't know, it's, it's hard to, it's, it's a big subject, but I do, I'm very interested in it. Um, what have I got, the motor, the art of motorcycle maintenance, um, Palo, what's his name, Colo or whatever, the alchemist. If you never read that, try it. You could. Um, I listened to the audio recording about 22 years ago. It's really good. And I've got quite a few, well, I've got a few biographies, a few like, comedy books from Tom Sharp. I, very rec I recommend Tom Sharp, The Wilt Books, W I L T. Very funny. And I've got a few books. Charles Bukowski is one of my favourite authors. And i got a few classics, you know. Sylvia Plath, The Bell Jar, The Time Machine, uh, Room with a View. What's the other one? War of the Worlds, The Great Gatsby. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird. Good Girls Do Swallow, um, The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes, Ernest Hemingway, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and uh, Adrian Mole, 13 and a half years old or whatever. That's good. I've got some books by Pima Chodron. Uh, what other stuff? I've got books on bipolar books on sleeping books on anxiety books on yeah a few different things actually but I'm a collector well, I used to be I'm not so much now because if I was how I used to be I'd probably have over a thousand books by now since I moved in here because I've got the space as it is, I've got four bookcases. Are quiet. They're taller than me, so God, it's, I'm about six foot six, so they're about six foot. So they're taller than me. And one, two, three 
but three quarters of three of them are, are kind of nearly full but I can't have the bottom rows filled the bottom shelves because Andre just knocks stuff off so I have to have a big gap but I'd like I'd like to have my book collection back that's what I'd like that's my little dream and I can eventually do that uh, although I did used to have some quite rare ones that I'd got off of eBay you know maybe back in 2005 time and whether or not I'd be able to get hold of them again and some books I got in the early 2000s and some in like 98, 99 that might not be available and some are available but they're really expensive now books that I paid maybe 9.99 uh, in I don't know 20 years ago now maybe cost 35 40 pound so because they're quite um, I suppose because they're not popular books they're quite specialised so they don't have a big market so I guess they have to charge more to keep to in order to print them although some places online you can basically order a book and they print it for you so it won't be an original cover and I used to have quite a few of those books it'll be the same content but it'll just be like a plain cover and it's just it's just as professional as any other book maker they, they just make the book to order so I'll probably look at uh, and I got I don't have them anymore but I had books from like 200 years ago and that were sort of well out of print and out of copyright or whatever but they'd just print it for you it's great I think one was uh, Sir Esdale he was a surgeon went over to India and he did hypnosis with people he did operations just with hypnosis with no chemical anesthesia which was like mind blowing really I think I'll stick to just boring people to sleep I think that's where my uh, my thing lies but I've got, I've got quite a few hypnosis books for sleep as well so I do you know, I do study do I've got a few quite a few textbooks on hypnosis but I think over the next year I'm going to try and like buy one book a week maybe and just sort of build the collection up a bit and something that I can learn from you know to study because a lot of the books are not kind of the ones you just read like a novel you'd read it all the way through although I have on quite a few of them they're more kind of like dipping into it to get an idea or to cross reference and I think that's one of the one of the benefits I got from getting a degree um, is I kind of learned how to study I learned how to find information which I think it's quite a useful skill it's not unique to me obviously millions of people do it but it's something that I don't think I necessarily had before um, I did but it helped me to be more focused with it so yeah I want to get I'll take a photograph one day of my little book collection and stick it on Facebook or something but I used to have so many books I think my book collection would be three times what it is now before so I'd like to I had a lot of psychology books lots of psychology books I also probably had about a hundred 
200 plus uh, Buddhist books maybe 150 but I gave them all to the Buddhist center I had loads of books on uh, philosophy and that kind of stuff that I gave away to charity shops because I was living in this tiny room when I was at college and there was just no room for my books so I ended up giving probably a third of my collection away you know apart from the hypnosis stuff and the counselling stuff because I needed that for the course I was doing the degree but even then I've still got probably less counselling stuff than I had then I had a you know I go through periods so when I was doing when I was doing a reflexology course I'd buy every single reflexology book I could get so I'd end up with like 20 books on anatomy and reflexology or if I did mass you know whatever I was studying uh, I went for a period when I was studying Asperger's and I bought every single book I could get read everything about it I've still got a couple of books now but I just really got into it and studied it just like when I first got into hypnosis I just consumed it you know just like I do a big chocolate gatto yeah big chocolate ghetto so what I'm going to do yeah I think next year which starts in just over a week I'm going to try and build a book collection try and build up my book collection more hypnosis stuff and I'm going to try try to make three recordings a day three different recordings one let me bore you to sleep one deep sleep whisper hypnosis and one relaxation for stress and anxiety I want to try and do one per day throughout the whole of 2020 but in order to do that I'm going to have to put a bit of planning in not for these ones but for the for the deep sleep whisper I'd have to put a little bit of a bit more energy into it to sort of plan kind of an outline of what perhaps I'm going to talk about and for the sleep the relaxation ones I'm again need to sort of be doing more studying and finding out new ideas and new techniques and things like that so it won't be as simple as just talking into the microphone I need you know a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, I don't know I don't want to use the word study but probably a little bit of preparation or oh, that word preparation just saying the word preparation it just feels wrong oh the idea of being prepared oh no but it might be useful the thing is I want to do that but I also I want to write a book next year I'd really like to maybe tell my story or part of my story of my life and just just call it let me bore you to sleep could that just could be the title let me bore you about my life or something but just sort of tell tell it but have humour as well I don't want don't want it to be all serious but also have you know uh, be genuine at the same time 
So it's, I don't quite know how to do it. I've attempted it many times over the years. I must have started writing probably about 30 times I've started to write a book. Probably more, more than that, actually. Sometimes I get a page done. Sometimes I manage to get 10 or 15, 20 pages. And I forget about it and I end up chucking away the pad. So it's about the momentum, about sort of, I suppose, planning it. Planning what I'm going to do. Planning how the book's going to be. My ideal situation, really, would be for somebody who really loves what I do, but has kind of the talent to transcribe my work, the audios, and then take out of the audios the good stuff, the the useful information that might be useful to people, and then format into into some kind of a book. That that would be good. But yeah, I don't don't fancy doing it myself. You know, just transcribing. I had to do that at university, and it's like, oh, it just for every minute it took me about ten minutes to edit and transcribe every minute of audio. <laughs> Hours and hours. But yeah, that would be quite cool if I had it all transcribed. I could probably then go through it and say, well, that was good, that's good. Well, that's not, you know. And sort of divide everything into subjects. So, okay, so I've been talking for 14 years about relaxing. What? techniques have I kind of mentioned and just list them all some will just be ones that anyone else could have thought of and uh, that might have already been used and I've just read somewhere else some might be ones that I've thought of myself um, so yeah it's kind of be interesting to go through and also ideas regarding sleeping and <sighs> yeah because I don't write scripts I don't really kind of know what I'm going to say before I say it so it'd be interesting to kind of find out what I've said which sounds a bit weird doesn't it but when you hear it out loud, it sounds a bit strange. Anyway, I'm going to go to the toilet. So thank you for listening. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Do something nice for yourself today. Lots of love.